Hey friends, we're ready to go over our November budget. I'm Stephanie and I've got my husband Mike here with me. We blog at sixfiguresunder.com and every month we go through our family's real numbers budget with you to help encourage you on your budgeting journey. Now the software we use is YNAB, that's Y-N-A-B. Um, it stands for You Need a Budget. I'll put a link down below if you wanna check it out. There's a, a free trial. If you've been around here for a while, you know the way we budget is being a month ahead. So the money that we spent in November, I'm gonna go through all the categories and tell you everything we spent. That money was all earned in October. And the money that we earned in November, we didn't spend any of that until December. So that's a little brief overview on this month ahead budgeting. I've got a whole video that talks about that and I'll leave that link down in the description below. All right, we'll start with the giving categories. Each month we pay a 10% tithe on the income from the month before. So for uh, October's income, that amount was 998. And then in addition to that, we make a donation to help um, folks who are, uh, who are having financial challenges or, or less well off uh, in our area here. That's the fast offering, which is $100 a month. Um, we didn't have any other giving uh, during the month of November. Okay, our monthly bills, the the biggest one is our mortgage. We have a 15-year mortgage on our house here in Northern California. We're actually going to be refinancing this again. We refinanced it a year ago, and we're refinancing it again because the rates have gone down even lower, and it makes financial sense to do it for us. Um, but right now, in November, that was $2,836. Okay, our car insurance, $78. That's a little bit less than it was last month. Mike changed up the, the mileage on our, our insurance plan um, since we're hardly driving any right now. This is also just for one car. When the pandemic hit in March and Mike was working from home, we uh, parked one of our cars and took it off the insurance and unregistered it. And so that is saving us a lot of money. Electricity, $172. This is pretty much as low as it's ever been, so we'll take it. Internet, $70 a month. Water, we usually put half of what we expect our water bill to be. It's been really different lately with our garden and with that leak that we found. So I put $150 toward the water bill um, in October. And then the bill came and it was 228. So then we just needed $78 more to meet that bill. Um, and that'll give us a better idea for next month how much we should put aside. Trash bill, this also comes every other month. It alternates with the water. Um, so we didn't pay that this month, but we put $40 aside. When it comes, it'll be $80 bill. The bill will be $80. Okay, cell phones, we have two $25 a month cell phones comes out to fifty dollars these are through visible which is a wholly owned subsidiary of verizon so we actually just use the verizon 4g lte network um, and it's unlimited data for 25 dollars a month if you go to the visible website you'll see that it shows 40 dollars a month for that plan but through uh, kind of a gimmick where you get you you get in a group with other people who are also part of visible like the old family plan idea um which takes honestly like two minutes there's yeah, there's reddit there's groups where you can you know join a group with people you don't even know they don't they don't need to know your name or number or any details like that it's just so it is really gimmicky but <laughs> you can save 15 bucks a month and so instead of 40 dollars for each of our phones we pay 25 for each of our phones and, and they're unlimited data yeah, and... it's all the data we want and it's the only network that we can actually access from our house which is nice because we don't have cell signal from anyone else so yeah if you have any questions about that just leave them in the comments it's Kind of sounds confusing at first, but it's not hard. Okay, piano. Our daughter takes piano lessons from a real teacher who's not me, and that's $120 a month. The orthodontist is $61 a month. We've got one more year left of that child. Um, other ones will need braces too, but right now we're almost done. Well, halfway done. Disability insurance, $151 a month. This covers, what, two-thirds? This covers about two thirds of my income. So if I couldn't work for some reason, uh, the insurance policy would pay out until retirement. Um, 
and uh, we'd have some income. So hopefully we, we don't need that, but if we ever do, it'll be great to have. Moving to everyday expenses, starting with food, we spent 463 on food. That's a little bit lower than we have for the last few months. We try to keep that around $500 a month, but uh, we had a road trip and we didn't go in a big grocery haul. So uh, it's a little bit lower, but we'll be probably uh, back to around 500 in December. All right, household miscellaneous, we spend $169 on miscellaneous things, new wipe rubber blades for the car, uh, toiletries, things like that. Um, fuel, we actually are kind of back to our pre-pandemic fuel. Just for this month, we took a pretty significant uh, road trip and ended up driving, what, 6,000 miles or something. So so our pandemic gas budget has been uh, you know, around $100. Um, this was larger than that. We'll be back down again for December. Uh, we had a few things we purchased for clothing. We bought a little bit of animal food. Uh, so clothing was $58, animals was $25, and we didn't spend anything in the kids' activities or school categories, but we did, as always, have uh, $70 or something like that out for allowances. We uh, give the kids allowances. They work, but they don't have allowances uh, tied to the chores and the work that they do. We just want to make sure that they have some fun so that they can learn about how to use money. It's really fun right now. They're buying Christmas presents for each other and they really, really get into that. It's, it's really fun. Um, okay, sinking funds. These are funds, Just we just keep track of them here in YNAB. These aren't separate accounts or anything, but money that we set aside each month and then when expenses come up, then it's already there. Okay, medical dental, we usually put $400 a month. This month we put $500 because we had to have enough to cover this big bill, this $2,900 bill that came in. We've now hit our max out of pocket. So if there, if anything crazy comes up in December, it will be covered. Um, but we we were kind of hoping at the beginning of the year when we set this money aside that we'd, we'd uh, wind up with a lot left over here, but we ended up spending it all, but- We, we, set, we set up the amount so that it would reach our max out of pocket by the end of the year, just in case we actually spent that much. And it ended up- <laughs> We did. This year we did. But maybe next year we'll- not need it so much. Car repair, we usually set aside 300, but since we're not driving very much and only driving one car, and we have almost $4,000 accrued in this uh, category, we didn't add to it. Christmas, we do $100. We spent a little bit, like $34, and have $646 left in that category. We just kind of entirely skipped Black Friday, online or, or in person. Um, and it was actually great. We, you know, there's nothing that we needed to buy, uh, and so our November Christmas uh, spending is usually a little bit higher. But this year we we didn't really spend anything. Okay, life insurance. We put seventy five dollars a month toward this, and then we have what we need when the premiums are due, and that was in November. That's what this is right here, um, and so we're back to saving again for next year's. Birthdays and gifts, we put $40 a month. Right now there's about $300 sitting there. Car registration and smog, $40 is what we normally put. We didn't put any though, because we have $461 there and that should be enough for a while. We also didn't add to the family fun fund or the car fund. Um, we put $300 toward home projects. That's um, That will go toward buying trees for our orchard, which we'll be getting in January. Um, so we just wanted to put some toward that this month you know, in November. And preparedness, we put $100 in that category and we spent 57 on um, some food storage, namely Halloween clearance chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> hey, after we did our food storage challenge, we were I realized that we were lacking in the chocolate department, so we have to get stocked. Got to be prepared. All right, investments were standard. This doesn't change a whole lot. Um, for the kids' college savings plan, each of them has one. Uh, well, the older five have one. That's $25 a month that we put in. We actually just looked at the balances uh, earlier today because we were looking at uh, starting an account for our, our youngest, our one-year-old. And they each have about uh, $2,500 in them, which isn't a whole lot for college. But um, the kids are really excited because they've never seen that much money. And that's in their name. 
Um, they've got years and years and years to grow and continue with contributions. So uh, that'll be not everything they need for school, but but a, a nice chunk. And uh, you know, we made it through school with scholarships and working. So we're kind of expecting the kids to do the same. Stephanie's Roth IRA, we put $500 a month in that every month. And that takes us to our $6,000 uh, maximum amount. Um, my pension is taken right out of my paycheck, so that doesn't show up here in YNAB. But both of us are saving towards retirement. Okay, and our tax planning and prep guy, we have a plan where it's $90 a month, so we have that. And then our exciting category down here is our mortgage extra. Um, we have $1,700 to go toward our mortgage. This is our goal to pay off our mortgage. Okay, you can see here we haven't put this toward the mortgage yet. We decided to just leave it here so that we have that um, for some of our cash to close when we when we close. But um, And we'll go over the refi in our next update or, or maybe in an interim video in between so that uh, you see what what we did and why we did it and, uh, and what we hope to save. Well, we'll be saving. Uh, on the mortgage. Okay, and what we earned in November that we will be spending in November, this is Mike's paycheck from working for the state, um, my blog earnings, and there's an additional thousand dollars that's not here from our rental. Um, that's in a different account and comes in a little bit differently, but so add a thousand dollars to this and that is what we earned in November. And that's what we will uh, be showing in the next monthly budget update is how we spent that money in December. So if you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, we'll talk soon.